Every North Central team has high standards, but few hold themselves to a level comparable to that of Cardinal Softball, who this year were looking for their 34th consecutive winning season. However, winning on its own isn't enough, and this year presented a unique opportunity. It was the first full season for head coach Venus Taylor, and the final chance for the team's seniors to qualify for regionals, with the program last having done so in 2015. Once I had gotten here after about a month or so, I started to look at the talent level and I'm like, you know, we really have something here. And what, what you learn along the way is you got some really strong senior leadership. And um, that has been a big key part of our success this year. I mean, it's a core of our group. And, and we also have some very young, talented players that came in that stepped in and kind of, um, you know, helped us do big things early on. I think it started probably one of our first conference games. We played Milliken right at the beginning and to sweep them off the bat after dropping how many games last year to them was a big just morale boost for everyone. Good start to season. The momentum gained from those early Milliken victories only continued to build as the Cardinals finished the regular season with a record of 27 and nine. In the CCIW tournament, they beat both Carroll and Milliken again one to zero to reach the championship game against Illinois Wesleyan. The Titans claimed the title, but North Central's resume was strong enough to be the final team selected to the NCAA tournament and receive a regional berth. It meant a lot to us, like we've been having a good season so far. We've had the same girls every four years and it just, as seniors, it means a lot and yeah, I'm just happy that we could do it. It was a bit stressful because we were the last at large bid that they announced. You're sitting there like, oh no, this is it, but it was really, a great experience to finally be able to like, it's not over yet, especially for the seniors. It's nice to have another shot at it. At first it was cheers and then it was tears. You know, it, it was a little bit all over the board, a lot of hugs and um, you know, it was almost like that everybody holding their breath just really hoping we'll get it because you don't know. And then when it finally is said out loud, it's a relief and, and just a overwhelming mixture of emotions. So, um, but we're, we're really excited and, and we know we belong. And I really do feel that this team can go as far as they want to go. Once again, the Cardinals reached a championship game after wins over Penn State Barron and the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire. Unfortunately, once again, it wasn't to be as Trine University advanced to the next round. But the team's seniors, led by first team all CCIW selections Corbett and Smith, still accomplished their goals, returning Cardinal softball to where they feel it belongs and hopefully setting a new standard for their younger teammates to carry forward into the future. I think that, that North Central Zoe has, has a strong, successful tradition. However, I think that these seniors have been a key in kind of leaving their mark and, and putting us on the map in a different level. Um, I think it will help us with recruiting going forward. They will be hard to replace, and uh, but we'll do everything we can to, to stay in a good place. I think I'll remember the friendships the most. I'll be with these girls, or I'll be friends with these girls for a long time, and I think that's what means the most. Like, yeah, we can break records, whatever, but like, you're making friends and building relationships along the way.